Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be rooting my Samsung Galaxy S3 from AT&T. Now this particular method will work for the US carrier branded Samsung Galaxy S3s, so that means it's AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and Verizon. However, on Verizon, you're going to need to have a unlocked bootloader and able to uh, root your S3. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to check to make sure that we have the correct model. And so if we go into our settings here and we just scroll all the way down to the bottom to about device. And if we look at the version here, I am running the i747 model. And you gotta make sure that it does not say i9300 because if it's the i9300, that means it's the international version. It will not work uh, with what I'm about to show you. So now that we have established our version here, we can go ahead and install the necessary files on our computer and get files copied over onto our device. All right, so I'm on the desktop here and I've conveniently uh, zipped all of the files that you're going to need for this particular route. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock or unzip our files here. I'm using my favorite 7-zip program and I'll just go ahead and right click and then go to extract files, click on okay and it goes ahead and can nice and neatly puts all of the files into a folder here. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to install the drivers. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and double click and install this driver package here. And for those of you who uh, need to download specific drivers. This is specifically for my AT&T version uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 and I'm installing it on Windows 8 here, but this will also work for Windows 7 as well. Not sure about Windows XP, but if you need to go specifically to the website to download your version, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the website here, links will be in the description, click on support, then you click on cell phones, and you're gonna click on the AT&T model or whatever carrier that you have. And then you're gonna select the model number that we just looked up. And mine is the 747. And we have the MB for marble blue and uh, the W for white, the R for red. And so I'm just gonna do the marble blue here and there's the image. So we're gonna click on manuals and downloads. Then we're gonna select the downloads, manuals and downloads tab here. And we wanna choose software. Then we're gonna go ahead and click the exe file here. Click on send and it's gonna go ahead and start downloading. So there's our file there. And so let's go back to our driver installation and it's complete. Now we can go ahead and plug in our phone. All right, so I have the USB cable here and this particular cable, it's the uh, Samsung cable and it's plugged directly into the USB port on the back of the computer, right directly into the motherboard, no hubs or no front panel USBs. This is straight direct. You don't have to necessarily have to have a Samsung USB cable, but just have a good reliable cable. And so we're gonna go ahead and plug this in and when you plug it in, it should say connected as media device here. And if it's not, if it's unchecked, then just go ahead and check it, right? And so back onto the computer, let's take a look at what we're gonna go through. So because I'm on Windows 8, it's gonna go ahead and bring up this device setup menu. Yours might look slightly different, but it's gonna take a few minutes in order for the Windows operating system to recognize the device. So when this comes up, we're gonna go to my computer and we're gonna view the uh, storage devices built into the phone. All right, so once you've got your device plugged in here and the computer recognizes it, we're just gonna go ahead and double click here and we're gonna look at our storage options. I happen to have an external memory card plugged into the phone as well as the internal memory and it doesn't matter what where you copy this file to but i'm going to go ahead and copy it onto my sd card just so that it's easier to find later on and so what i need to copy is this team epic root um, recovery file and so i'll just drag and drop this file onto the card here and that's pretty much it for that 
we're done with this step and now what we're going to do is enter the phone into the target mode and what we'll have to do is unplug the phone so we've unplugged that and then now we're going to power off the phone so go ahead and power down the phone right so now that it's off we're going to go into this target mode here this download mode and what we need to do is hold the volume down key the home key and the power button key all at the same time so all three buttons at the same time not one after the other so it's really important that you go all three at the same time and quickly after you go uh, to the options you're going to need to press the volume up key so we'll go ahead and press all three buttons down at the same time and you're going to present be presented with some options here and you're going to press the up volume key and when you do that you'll be in the download mode and it says do not turn off target and you've got the android icon here right and then now we're going to start the odin program so we'll go ahead and double click that and then now we're going to plug in the phone We'll set that down and when you plug in the phone you're going to notice here the id com something's going to come up doesn't necessarily have to say com4 it could say com3 2 or 1 just make sure that that shows up there and we're going to uncheck the auto reboot and the f reset time and just again this just indicates that we've plugged in the phone and everything works now we got to load this file here that we have the cwm recovery and we're going to click on the PDA button here. And here is the CDM CWM recovery file. We'll click on that, click on open, and then we'll click on start. And this process is going to be very quick. It's going to take about a total of five seconds. And once this is done, it's completed. Now back onto the phone, we can go ahead and unplug. And then what we're going to do is take out the battery. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my battery here, right? So the battery is out and then I'm going to go ahead and plug in the battery back in. I've got the battery back in and then I'm just going to for safe measure because you don't want the battery popping out. Now we're going to go into recovery mode and in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and hold the volume up key power button and the home button all at the same time so when you press this three buttons here right you're gonna see the Samsung logo pop up and some blue lettering on the top left hand corner there you just saw it flash when that flashes up you let go so it's very important that you let go and that you don't keep holding the buttons down that you just let go really quick and then you'll be presented in the CWM recovery mode and then now we can go ahead and load our zip file that we copied onto the SD card. So the second option here is says install zip from SD card and I'm using the volume up and down keys to navigate. So I'll select my choice here using the power button and then we're going to choose an e a zip from SD card. That is the first option there. So go ahead and choose that. And then there is our zip file that we copied to the memory card earlier. So we'll select that. And then now we want to go down to the yes, install this zip file. And then this is the process of copying the root over. And then we're going to scroll back down to the go back. And then we're going to reboot the system now. We'll select this. Now the system is rebooted and that's it. We've rooted our device and I'm gonna run this app called Root Checker just to make sure that the root was successful. It'll tell us if it's uh, rooted or not. And so this is pretty much the start of uh, what you're going to do. Be sure to check out um, future videos on this particular device. I'm gonna uh, right after this, I'm going to create a video on how to install the new 
uh, 4.2 camera and the new 4.2 keyboard from Google. And so we'll go ahead and start up our root checker app, which is right here. And then verify root access. Pay no attention to my system appears to be running slow. It's because my phone is still uh, booting up. And it says, congratulations, the device is root, has root access there. All right, so uh, this is running Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.4. And be sure to subscribe uh, so that you can see whether or not this is upgradable to the Jelly Bean. This 4.1 is coming out for this phone very soon. So I hope to be able to upgrade this even though it's rooted uh, over the air uh, from stock AT&T. So be sure to watch uh, or favorite this video so that you can come back to it and uh, I'll have links to the new videos if I can update to it or not, as well as future updates to this phone. Um, just to make sure that uh, things work out okay. I don't know if I'll be able to update now that I've rooted it, if I have to unroot it and do all that stuff. Uh, so hopefully that uh, works out for you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.